What is up everybody, welcome to another video. And in this video, I kinda wanna talk about how to deal with stress and when you're overwhelmed, all, I don't care how smart you are, I don't care where you came from, at one point in your career you have been overwhelmed. You've had a bunch of assignments to do and you're kinda stuck and just overwhelmed. So in this video, I wanna help you and kinda give you some kinda guidance and kinda what I've used to get me through it. I've basically learned these things over the past three and a half years, kinda figuring out what works and what doesn't work. So let's just jump right into it. Tip number one, you're in class and you have questions and you don't get the questions answered because you're scared because you don't want to raise your hand. So what I do is I get a flashcard. Now on this flashcard, you literally sit there and you have it in the corner of your desk. So during lecture when your professor is talking, if you have any question at any point or do not understand anything, just write it down on this note card. Write down all the questions you have. Therefore, if you're kind of those people who are kind of nervous to kind of raise their hand in class, you have all your questions on a note card. And then during office hours or you go to a friend, make sure you get all your questions answered. Trust me, that's one of the best ones that's worked. That was one of my favorites. If you don't have a flashcard, you can literally write it on the corner of your paper. I just like to write it on the flashcard because it's kind of convenient and super easy to use. It means it's kind of cheap too. <laughs> Tip number two. You have 10 assignments to do. It's nighttime. You're freaking out. You're like, I don't know how I'm going to get all 10 assignments done. And you're worried. So this is what you do. I literally get one of these like random like journal things. You can kind of use them anywhere. I kind of got this from like a graduate fair. Kind of write down the assignments I need. So I'll literally just write down all the assignments I want to get done that day. And I kind of make it realistic too. So I write down at the maximum five things to get done. And I write them all down. And then, as you see here, in red, for example, right here in red, I'll write, so for tomorrow, tomorrow is the 20th. I'll write down things I want to get done, okay? And then in red, I'll write down in what order I'm going to do them. So I'll put, I'll put a one here, say I want to do this one first. I'll put a two by the next thing, so I want to get that one done next, and so on. And if I know that time is going to be a problem, I'll even throw in time too. I'll be like from 6 to 6.30, I want to work on this thing. From 6.45 to whatever time, I want to work on this thing. And I try to give myself at least a five to 10 minute break in between each assignment to make sure I recuperate and I'm pacing myself. I found that that works the best, especially during finals week. And last but not least, tip number three. In the beginning of the semester, if you go online, I don't know how different schools do it, but at my school, they basically post the syllabus online. But if I profess, a syllabus, if you guys don't know what this is, I'm pretty sure you do, but <laughs> some of you, if you don't, is basically the professor will give you a bunch of, basically, they will tell you what the assignments are, what the due dates are, a whole semester in advance. You go to the library, you print it off, and what I kind of do is I make my schedule I get all the syllabuses for all my classes and I basically write every single assignment down, every due date, every test and exam for the first two months so that I know what's coming up. I know if I have a test in two weeks, I'll know and I'll be able to prepare for it in a week in advance or you know, schedule out time that I know I'll need to prepare for the exam. All right, guys, that's it. Those are my three tips that I have for you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck with your semester. Just feel free to put in the comments, what do you use to help you get through kind of stressful situations when you're overwhelmed or some kind of techniques that you guys use? And I'll bring them up in the next video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Study hard, pace yourself, have a great semester. See you guys in the next upload. Another tip that I kind of left out, but I think it's kind of important, I'll just throw in there extra, is I make my schedule like this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody does this, but I kind of like just color code all my classes and mark it in days. So like Tuesdays are my worst days, so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into. So if you guys want to do that, I highly recommend doing that. All right, here's the end of the video now. Um, I'm wasting battery. No, I'm not. All right, here we go. I want to end the video now. I need to end the video now. I'm going to do it. I can't do it. End the video. I'm kind of stressed right now, actually. Today is Tuesday, and I got, like, so much assignment to do. Like, I hate... Look at my Tuesday schedule.